Summary, phaseracetam is a newer addition to the racetam family. It's a nootropic that helps in relieving anxiety, enhancing memory, and improving overall cognition. Contents 1. Introduction 2. Benefits and Effects 3. Mechanism of Action 4. Dosage and How to Take 5. Side Effects 6. Conclusion Introduction Phaseracetam is a positive and exciting addition to the Racetam family. It's reported to have the ability to enhance memory and cognition while relieving depression and anxiety. Additionally, it also has a potential for treating ADHD symptoms. Even though phaseracetam is a new name on the nootropic scene, it was developed by a Japanese pharmaceutical company more than 20 years ago as a potential treatment for vascular dementia. However, it was put on hiatus after a failed trial. The clinical data were then bought by Neurofix in 2013. Clinical trials began in 2016 with its focus on treating ADHD symptoms in children. The experiments have shown a great promise as a potential ADHD treatment. In 2016, the FDA accepted the substance for evaluation. Benefits and Effects Improves Memory and General Cognition Phaseracetam minimizes memory decline, forgetfulness, and amnesia. Individuals who use it report it positively impacts their memory. That is due to the chemical that it produces, which increases learning, memory and cognitive functions. R. Relieves anxiety and depression. Phaseracetam relieves anxiety, improves mood, and eases depression by acting on glutamate and gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA. By upregulating GABA and suppressing the excess production of the excitatory neurotransmitter glutamate, phaseracetam offers a non-jittery and smooth feeling of calmness, relaxation, and improved mood. R. R. Phaseracetam relieves anxiety, improves mood, and eases depression by acting on glutamate and gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA. By upregulating GABA and suppressing the excess production of the excitatory neurotransmitter glutamate, Phaseracetam offers a non-jittery and smooth feeling of calmness, relaxation, and improved mood. R. R. Potential ADHD Treatment A study on 30 individuals ranging between 12 to 17 years old tests the impact of phaseracetam on ADHD patients. The subjects were receiving phaseracetam for 5 weeks, after which improvements were observed relating to ADHD symptoms. R. Increases creativity and motivation. With more research done on phaseracetam, the improvement in creativity and motivation progresses as well. Many users report that not only it makes them inspired by nature but keeps them motivated too. These self-reports are credible for boosting moods and ability to increase the release and production of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine which is responsible for cognition and learning. Mechanism of Action there is no clear evidence to support how it works to improve cognition. The theories that exist that describe that it as an interaction with the receptors of glutamate and GABA and the cholinergic system. Phaseracetam works of a specific group of glutamate receptors known as metabotropic glutamate receptors, which play multiple roles in the brain and body mainly relating to memory, learning, and anxiety. In increasing acetylcholine phaseracetam is a powerful cholinergic, significantly increasing the uptake of choline in the cortex and hippocampus. The brain uses the additional choline to produce more acetylcholine, the neurotransmitter most strongly associated with learning, memory, and overall cognition. Dosage and how to take. Given that it is produced 20 mg dosage, 20 mg would be a good starting point. Anecdotal reports suggest smaller doses of 15 to 30 mg per day, while dosages used in clinical trials for ADHD were 100, 200, and 400 mg twice a day. Personally I tried anywhere from 20 mg per dose to 60 mg per dose. The difference was barely notable. As always, pair it with alpha-GPC or any choline source to potentiate the effect and prevent a headache. Side Effects Phaseracetam is safe when taken responsibly. The most common side effect, similar to all race TAMs, including fatigue, headache, and digestive discomfort. 
the is no scientific evidence available on the specific interactions between other drugs and phasoracetam. Conclusion Phasoracetam is a new nootropic but has had numerous experiments done on it. However, it has already developed a strong force in the nootropic community. Many people find it an excellent choice to relieve anxiety and depression. Some people also say that it helps in cognition, clarity, and focus. It works well when used responsibly.